always nice to eat your bubble. Well, do you wanna, how do we wanna do this? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing Flare, folks. Today, it's gonna be a good day. You know why? Because we got this. What did I name this thing? The Dangle Dinghy? Yep, that's it. This is the Dangle Dinghy. I'm with Ethan. We went hunting here. We went hunting right there. We'll roll the clip of, of that. You got it. So yeah, we shot some birds here. We got John. John's just doing John things. You're gonna go merc on the uh the, the bank. So we're gonna we're gonna be this is the maiden voyage. The plan today is for Ethan and I to fish in the boat. John's gonna go film his own video from the shore. So he's gonna be dangling around the shore. If you guys haven't seen this, built this boat. I just got battery hooked up in there, some tackle. We got the rods, we got all the goods. We don't know if it's even gonna float. Pretty sure I'm missing some important bolts right here for the troll motor, so I'm not sure how that's gonna affect it. But you know what? We'll figure it out. But it's gonna be the maiden voyage for this boat. Ethan's been saying that this pond's been fire, but you haven't caught any like giants lately. We're gonna do it today. We gotta that's the goal today is to catch big stinking bass. I think this might be my first fishing experience in Nebraska of 2019. Get the boat in the water, hopefully it floats. See if we can catch some bass. You guys stay tuned. Oh, we're floating. Oh, we're good. She's floating. All right, so first cast, starting off with the chatterbait. This water's really clear, so I think I'm imitating a bluegill or something. Probably, there's there's gotta be gills in here, right? Yeah. That's gonna be the deal here. Yeah, that's why it's cold. I can, feel, I can feel it on my line. It's real cold. Oh, there's one. Yep. There you go. Now we're hooked up. Come on, Junior. He smoked it. Get up in the boat. Woo! That's a good one. That's a good one. That's first fish in the boat, in the new dangle dinghy. Oh yeah, that's three, three and some change there. This is a healthy looking fish, honestly, for like this time of year, when it's this cold, usually they're a lot more pale than that. That's a really good looking fish. All right, first fish. We're actually gonna keep track of the fish we catch. Today we're using the eye bobber scale. Just to have an idea, it's kind of fun to keep track of this stuff. It's kind of like a little tournament. I guess we'll see what John brings in, but we're gonna weigh this guy and see. 2.4 pounds, all right. See you later, buddy. All right, we got 2.4 on there, hit save. Yeah, we'll leave it at catch one. And you can actually measure the length, which the scale does have a measuring tape on it. So I didn't take the length on it, but if you want to, you can put the length in like that. Hit save and then hit okay. So there we go, we got 2.4 pounds, first fish in the boat. Now we're back, we're back fishing. But if you guys actually want that scale right there, I'll leave the link at the very top of the description. You guys go check it out and you just have to download the iBobber app. It's a really easy way to keep track of your best five. And uh, there's a whole bunch of different features that go along with it. But essentially, instead of sitting here having to remember, normally what I do is I open the notes in my phone and type it in. Instead of doing that, all you do is connect it to your phone, done, it does all the math for you. Makes your life easy if you're trying to keep track of big fish or how many fish you catch or anything like that. Simplifies your life. So if you guys want to go check it out, I'll leave the link at the very top of the description. Per? Yeah. That's a fish. Yep. Yeah. He ate right at the boat. Get up in here. That's a good one. Phew! <laughs> That's a good one. That's bigger for sure. That one's probably pushing three. Dude, he choked it. They're liking this thing. I'm throwing just a chatter that's got a little paddle tail swimmer on it. A lot of times I'll throw like the Guggen baits cracking craw on it, but when the water's this cold, sometimes swim baits work better because the craw puts off a lot of action, sometimes a little too much. All right, toss them on. Looks like three, one. Three, one. All right, that's fish number two. See you later, buddy. All right, enter that in the phone. Hit save. We got three, two, catch two. Save, okay, done. Yeah. I don't know, I don't think they're back here. Oh, I say that and then they're, he still got it. I literally just said, I don't think they're back here, that he smokes it. Dude, they're eating it so funny, they come right at you. Skirt. They're all about the same size, yeah, he's just, he's gotta be a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's a, that's a fatter fish for sure. On the chatterbait again. As I'm saying, hey, there's no fish back here. Three, four. Three, four. Getting bigger. That's a chunker, little guy. See ya. 
I can't believe how like dark green and like yellow they are. Entering the three, four, catch three, save. Okay, done. Three down. Ethan, what's the move, boy? On the struggle bus? They're eating the chatterbait. Like I said they keep eating it kind of weird, but they, in fact, they are eating it. Do you have a chatterbait? Yeah. You got one? Oh, he came off. Oh, oh, I got one. Wait, what's going on? One just ate mine right here as Ethan missed one. Hang on, give me, give me a second. Let me cast out here. I am super confused. I was looking at you and I looked down. There was a bass chewing on my chatterbait. Oh, well, Ethan's hooked up. Is that a big one? That's right where we just had those. Oh, dude, that's a tank. That is a tank. They're all skirt, like skirt. Dude, <laughs> that's a fatty. That's definitely the biggest one so far. There you go. You're on the board. How you doing over there, Junior? Just, you know, snack. Your snack. Oh, you need help? You got him? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Don't fall, boy. That's another good. That's a bigger one, too. Boom, baby. So far, the green pumpkin chatterbait has been the deal. We talked to John. John caught one on the green pumpkin chatterbait. Caught three. Ethan's caught two. So far, so good. We've kind of we've made our way almost around this entire pond. We kind of started over there. But the way the wind's blowing is this way. And any time that you're throwing a reaction bait like this, you're always best throwing on the windy sides. If you're on the calm side, you should throw like a Sanko or a jig or something like that, maybe even a swim jig. But when it's windy like it is today, spinner baits or chatter baits, or even lipless, definitely gonna be the deal. I, I literally just casted next to your bait. That was the next cast. He just caught another one. Even though we're catching fish, I'm gonna mix it up and throw this little lipless crank. This is one of my all time favorite things to throw this time of year. I really only throw it in the spring, but it's the red, bright red craw lipless crank bait. For some reason, this time of year, this thing is just, I don't know, man. It just does it. It just absolutely crushes the fish. So throw this guy out there, give it a rip. I've got some pretty stinking big fish on, on a lipless crank bait, especially this time of year. You just kind of rip it like this, let it flutter down, and they smoke it on the fall. There's one, yep, we're hooked up. Right in the wind blown corner, son. Oh yeah, smoke the lipless, boys. She smoked it, come here, buddy. Skirt. Oh, that's the smallest one yet. All right, we're not gonna even weigh that guy. He's just a he's just a little lad, maybe a little two pounder. I don't know, maybe the chatterbait's the deal for the big guys. I'm gonna keep throwing this little lipless, give it a shot since Ethan's still throwing that chatterbait and see which one can catch the biggest fish. Oh, there's a bite, there's a fish. Oh, in the same pocket. All right, we've got the lipless bite dialed in. Come here. Right at two. All right. See you, bud. That sucks. There's a fish. There's a fish. Dude, they are munching the lipless right now. They are absolutely inhaling the lipless. Yeah, we got them figured out now, son. Get up here. And just a little guy. That's a football, though. He is a fatty. That is a little chubby guy. All right, see you, buddy. We're, we just made it back to the trucks. This is right where we started. We should have just started fishing here. <laughs> Obviously, this cove is loaded. Here, we figured out the cadence here on this little lipless bite. Just a little, just like this. They're hitting it right on that fall. Oh, that's a good one. That one smoked it. Oh, he's not that big, but he's decent. Probably another two and a half, three pounder. I just can, seriously cannot get over the color on these guys. This time of year, they look this dark. He's barely hooked. Look at that little football. Another one. See ya. Well, so far, the old dangle dinghy is bringing good luck. This little farm pond's got some absolute tanks. We still haven't gotten a giant, though. I don't think we've, I don't think we've broken three and a half yet. Like, we're, we've been sitting around that three, three and a half pound range for pretty much the entire day. We have yet to find a big one. You got one? Yeah, another three pounder. I got one too. We got doubles. We got doubles. Get up here, boy. That's a long one. That is a long fish. Look at that, baby. We got doubles. That's that's how many one of the longer ones I've caught. It's just not that fat. That's a long, that's a long stinking fish. See, buddy. Boom! Yours hit right at the boat and my hit right in front of it. We just again, like I said, we can't we can't break out of the can't hit the four pound mark. We are catching lots and lots of fish, which is good. This is fun. I haven't caught this many fish in a long time. There's a fish. Hey, come on, boy. Oh, yeah. That's a head shaker there. He's about the same as the rest of them. 
get up here. Oh, Jesus. It's probably another two and a half, three pounder. Cookie cutters, boys, cookie cutters. Eating the old trap, daddy. See ya. There's a fish. Yeah. Smoked it on the fall. Smoked it on the fall. Come on, be bigger than your other friends. Nope. Yeah, you're still the same size. They're not growing any. I don't know if I fish too many ponds where like the quality is just there. And they're all two and a half, three pounders, every single one. It's awesome. There's a fish. Dude, he smoked that. That was like a jig bite. Knock slack in it. Right on the fall. Come on, boy. Football. That's a football. Come here, son. It's barely hooked. That is a football of a fish. Oh my God, look at that thing. Barely even hooked. A little football. Oh shoot. We're good. Land ho. Two hours later. Finn, where'd you go? Finn, come here. Come here. What's up, bud? What you doing? Huh? What you doing? Well, folks, maybe back to the house. And, uh, well, the old dangle dinghy did A-OK. -okay. It's a little heavy, but it still did A-OK. -okay. You can see the garage was, I shouldn't say picked up. It's got rearranged a little bit. We've gotten rid of some stuff, but it still looks like it's in shambles. We're getting there, folks. Be patient, all right? It's just, there's a lot of stuff going on. The, everything is still flooded, so I'm busy at the farm a lot. But today, I said, no farm. We're going fishing, and which we did. We went fishing. We caught some fish. Caught a lot of fish, actually. A lot of good, just quality. Quality Nebraska brews, some three pounders. Big shout out to Ethan for the invite, but I'm pretty happy with this. If you guys didn't see this video, I built this boat for under $1,000. Not including the troll motor, but the deck, Brand new boat, everything you see here, plus actually somewhere there's a, a deck for the back, all that included, was actually under $1,000. So if you guys want to see that video, um, go find it on my channel. It's, I think it's like cheap bass boat, cheap John boat to bass boat. If you guys want to know how to build it, you can go check it out. But we took it out for the first time today, and it floated, and we caught fish, and we caught a lot of fish. So maybe it's my good luck charm. Maybe we need to start taking it more often. It's starting to warm up here in the Midwest. It was uh, like 45 or 50 today, and that water's probably about the same. So we got some time. It needs to warm up. I think next week it's supposed to be in the 70s, though, so that should help. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully we get some warm weather so we can go chase some more Nebraska birds. So if you guys enjoyed the pond fishing video, let me know in the comments section down below. Remember, if you guys want that scale I used today that I weighed all the fish on, top of the description. Go check it out. Click the link. Go pick yourself up one if you want one. But I really do appreciate the view. Peace. Peace.